and welcome to the course introduction for the Customer Order Management Pricing course with the Siebel Hub and Black Sheep IT Consulting. My name is Alexander Hansal. I'm happy that you join me for this quick presentation. So we are going to start with a look at Siebel Customer Order Management basic concepts. We are going to talk about the two other courses, mainly the product administration class and the COM infrastructure class. And of course, we talk about what's awaiting you in the third class of customer order management pricing. Siebel customer order management, also known as COM, is a set of modules in Siebel CRM that support various aspects of not only order management as in the name, but also everything that comes before you actually can create and submit an order, such as the administration of simple products and the well-known complex or customizable products with all the aspects of configurator, eligibility, rules, constraints, etc. Also, it includes the administration of product catalogs to present the products in a meaningful way to employees and customers and partners. Of course, order management is all about order capture, but also about quote capture. And we can use the Siebel configurator to create meaningful user interfaces for any customizable product. And as is the focus of this class that you're taking now, simple and dynamic pricing functionality. And last but not least, integration with external systems is also more and more becoming a matter of importance, especially when Siebel CRM is integrated or augmented with cloud-based or other on-premises systems. Uh, one thing that we should know about customer order management is that it has quite a special place in Siebel CRM. While built on traditional techniques such as business services and workflows, it also introduces other aspects which culminate in a service-oriented architecture. Service-oriented architecture was all the rage in the early days of the 2000s when Siebel CRM was still managed by Siebel Systems. And it was the goal of Siebel Systems back then to not only have a solid sales service and marketing standing with the existing Siebel CRM product, but also support more back-end related or enterprise resource planning related features like product administration, pricing or quote and order capture. So we find in the current versions of Siebel CRM, the customer order management architecture based on the principles of service-oriented architecture. So in the first part of the customer order management course by the Siebel Hub, we cover product administration. Now a product in the sense of an entity is a purchasable good or a service usually part of a product line. We can define product bundles as a group of products that are always sold together, but Siebel also has support for customizable products with components, which in itself can be customizable. So we can create very complex hierarchies and allow the customer or the agent working on behalf of the customer to configure the product. In the upcoming course that you are about to see, we focus on the pricing part. If you want to learn more about product administration, all the aspects that are discussed on this slide, make sure to take part one of the customer order management course for product administration. The second part of the course, customer order management infrastructure, covers in great detail all aspects of the so-called product selection and pricing engine. So it's a very recommended prerequisite for part three, the pricing administration, to understand the technicalities of how the actual calculation of the end price for each line item or row of a quote or order or agreement 
works. So now let's talk about the content of the customer order management pricing class. So here you will, in the next modules, you will learn all about Siebel Pricer, which is a name, a product name that defines a combination of simple and advanced techniques to calculate, well, the correct price by evaluating all relevant pricing adjustments, all areas in Siebel where you can define a discount or markup or, and of course a starting price. Specialized workflow processes we call pricing procedures are executed by the PSP engine and basically check for pricing adjustments across the board. In the course, we focus on all these possible pricing adjustments. So you will learn about volume discounts, like buy 10 items uh, and to get a 10% discount on the whole order, uh, aggregate discounts, for example, buy one, get one free, attribute-based pricing, where, for example, the color of a keyboard or some hardware makes it more expensive than a default color component-based pricing for customizable products. We will also cover matrix pricing, discount matrices, where you can define the net price based on a combination of product and customer attributes. The final chapter is on advanced pricing. For example, how to find the best price for a customer who is part of an account hierarchy. So all this and much more is awaiting you in the next modules. And we're not stopping there with uh, modern Siebel architecture moving into the cloud or other order-based systems on-premises or in the cloud to exist. The integration aspect, especially for product and pricing administration, is very important. So thanks for watching uh, this course introduction. Um, hope to see you in the upcoming modules and hope you enjoy your learning experience with the Siebel Hub. Take care and bye-bye.